Yeah, sure. Podcasting for me, it started in 2017 as a mixed martial arts company. I used, I started in 2012 and then started podcasting 2017 as an MMA podcaster and did that up until the end of 2021. I did 256 episodes of that and really was just talking with up and coming MMA fighters and had no idea what I was doing when I started podcasting. I was in a walk-in closet. I had bad lighting, bad microphone, bad camera. Didn't even look into the camera. Like I was uh, having a conversation and really just wanted to ask fighters, like, why do you want to get punched in the face? That was like my question that I would ask them. And it did no editing. I would upload it to YouTube and call that my podcast. And then around like episode 100, somebody's like, hey, how can I listen to an Apple podcast? And I was like, what the hell is that? I didn't even know about <laughs> Apple podcasts. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm missing out on a whole market of people that just listen to audio. And so I started researching, deep diving in, like, how do I do this thing? In 2019, I started the Eric Allen Show or what's called the Eric Allen Show now. And that's more my business side of things. So really deep dived into that. And, and we're about 180 episodes into that show. Been blessed to speak with guys like Ed Milet and Brad Lee and Bedris Koulian and Jim the Rookie Morris and Eric Legrand, Tim Story. Just a, a blessed list of people that have been on my show. And so... Yeah, that's how I got into podcasting and it's been a fun journey, man. It's definitely something that I love doing. I just do the Eric Allen show now. I don't do the MMA show anymore.